everybody. This is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about nine tips to have a no or low waste kitchen. Let's get started. And a few of these tips are ones that I haven't seen on other channels, so I hope they give you some food for thought. Let me get started. Number one, one huge thing that I've been doing is I've been really asking the family, what do you want to eat or what are you getting tired of? And the reason I ask this is sometimes I just was in a habit of automatically buying the same things. Well, guess what? Sometimes your tastes change and you might get tired of some of those things. And then you're not going through them as quickly. They end up getting stale or not going bad because you're not using them. So make sure that you're buying the family what they're going to actually eat. That's number one. Number two, have a leftover night. And when I mean leftovers, I don't mean just the things you've cooked. If you have like two slices of cheese left, a dab of cottage cheese, a little bit of yogurt, you can make like a little appetizer plate and just use all these little things. That way you're using everything. Let's say you've got a little bit of cereal and you've had it now for a while. Maybe one of the family members can have a bowl of cereal. This way you're using everything you have in your house. Number three, and I do this on Thursdays. Thursdays, do not just glance and shop your refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. Sometimes you're going to need to dig in there and take everything out and see what you really have. If you do this, you know, quite often, maybe once a week, and it does take a little bit of time, but it's worth it because then you really see what you have so that you're not purchasing more of things that you already have and you're making sure to use some of those things in the freezer that you don't want to get freezer burnt. So really dig through. Have a day to do that. I do it when I write out my grocery list, which is on Thursdays. I really look in and I wipe out my refrigerator, freezers, look at my pantry, and just spend some time glancing through there. It doesn't take that long to see what's getting used, what's not getting used, and what are we not going through quick enough so that I may not purchase it next time or not as often. The other thing is, and also date things, that's another important thing. The other thing is, is buy loose produce if you don't feel like you're going through a lot of produce. One of my friends, for example, told me many of the people in her house don't eat many fruits and veggies, and so she was buying so much and not using it. She shared some watermelon with me, I shared cantaloupe with her. So you can share with each other, maybe, but sometimes I think people will buy a great big watermelon, for example, and only one person in the household might eat it. So you may want to buy smaller amounts, like two loose apples, rather than a great big bag if only one person's eating it. Number five, what I've already spoken about, share with friends. I have a friend of mine that I walk with. We share so many things back and forth, but it keeps us from wasting it. We share a lot of produce. That'd be one thing. She gave me some salad toppings. I've given her certain things that I had. I had some uh, wings that I wasn't using, so I gave her those because one of her family members likes them. So share with your friends. That really helps. Number six, don't always trust expiration dates. Um, I always smell and see what I think of the item because many times you can use it past the expiration. Number seven, I don't do this, but this is a good idea to have no shop weeks or even skip shopping for a few days and go through what you have at home. Number eight, make simpler meals. That's kind of what I did about the appetizer night. There's no reason why if you notice that you've got a big huge thing of oatmeal, and I'm not eating oatmeal right now, but and no one's using it, maybe have a night where you have a hot breakfast and you have oatmeal with some cinnamon and raisins and maybe some walnuts and have something like that. There's no, there'd be nothing wrong with that for dinner. Go back to simpler foods. And number nine, and I already showed you guys I did this before, my last tip is this. If I find that there's some things I want to use in my pantry, but they're out of sight, out of mind in the pantry, I might take a small part of my cupboard, or not my cupboard, my, my uh, counter, and take them out of the pantry and put them on the counter so that I always visually see them and I know I'm going to use those items that week. That has helped tremendously. Doing that tip and making sure that I'm buying the family what they really want to eat those two tips right there, number one and number nine, have probably helped me the most with the no waste. So let me know how do you guys make sure you're using all the food in your home. I would definitely love to hear tips from you guys because I can learn a lot from you. This is Money Mom signing off and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.